that look, my God, I get the look even at almost 40 years old. I'm like, it works. My God, it works. Welcome back to Wipe Hack by Tina Cherie, and welcome back to Love Making 101. And this Love Making 101 is going to be entitled Mindful Parenting. And don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. God, you are worthy. God, you are worthy. My God, you are worthy. God, you are the God that brings all things together. God, you are the God that protects and watches over us. My God, you are the God that is going to provide what we need. God, you are the one that we can turn to when we need comfort. God, you are the God that when we need somebody that we need some counseling from, we can just come to you directly, Lord, and get that counseling from you. And God, you have put people in our lives, my God, can we go here, that we can also turn to for help as an extra bonus. My God, you are so good. My God, you are so good. And Lord, we thank you and we love you and we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly and we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors. Repent for perpetuating that generational curse. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes, our ears, our hearts, our minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity, and the tailor-made message in the name of Jesus. Amen. And turn with me, if you will, in your Bible to Proverbs 15, 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. My God. Okay, so come with me, people. Let me tell you, disclaimer. I am not a parenting expert. I feel like there's certain things in life. It's hard to be an expert about certain things when each kid is different. So what works for one kid may not work for another kid my gold. So I'm just going to tell you what the Holy Spirit has presented to me to give to you guys. Come with me. Understand, we are learning together, my God. And this time in 2022 and moving forward, we are going to practice mindful parenting. My God, we are going to be intentional about our parenting my god and some of these kids will test you my god some of these kids some of y'all be testing god let's be real but some of these kids will be testing you but you got to be mindful my god right here in proverbs my favorite book my god right here in proverbs it tells us a soft answer turns away wrath my god uh, can we talk about this so I've been blessed. I'm going to say it. Hmm. I'm blessed. I know some people might think, oh, you're not blessed. My God, I am blessed. My God, even what you think is something bad and something negative, you think that. But God is like, ooh, ooh, I'm about to do something with this. My God, God likes the underdogs. My God. God likes the underdogs, the people that aren't moving and shaking and shaking and moving, the people that people counted out. My God, he likes them. So I've been blessed and I'm fortunate enough to raise a child that has special needs. And in seeing that, my God, my God, and he has me working in an area where I'm working with other special needs kids. My God. And I just had the privilege of working in a summer program with nothing but special needs kids. 
and I was able to see with my own eyes. Mm, and I've heard from other people reporting on how they're dealing and handling my son with special needs. These children will test you. They will test you. But God said it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. My God. Yes, there's going to be times where you need to be very direct with them. Very. You can't necessarily play around or you got to be direct. Think about it. That's how God is with us as uh, adults. He is direct with the people that he has chosen. He is direct. He is very direct. And sometimes some people may be like, well, that's not necessarily God. God don't talk to the same people. Just like us parents, we can't talk to our kids or deal with them or um, discipline them in the same manner. Same thing with God. So with this child, I can talk to and be more transparent with. The, who, um, some kids, you can just give a look to. We know about this look. My God, we know about this look here in these streets. Um, but it may not work for this child over here. This child might need something more, they need something more direct. My God. So I need to tell them. Sometimes, let me tell you, another thing, just saying I'm disappointed in you. My God, it cuts you deep in your soul. My God, like you're disappointed in me. I, t I let you down. Ah, that works for some people. Some people, it's like, no, I'm going to have to um, lay down the law. I'm going to have to take this and this and this and this away from you. I'm going to have to hurt you in these streets. I'm going to have to just bloop, let you know this is not what you're doing. My God, this is not what you're doing. My God. So God talks to you a certain way, but God may talk to another person in a different way. And oh, who are we to say, that don't sound like God. That's not the God that you talk to. That's not That's not how it works. That's not the God you... I remember I was telling my mom one time. I was telling my mom one time. Um, because everything happens. Even the negative things that happen, it happens for a reason. My God. Because God's going to make it all come together. It all work out. My God. So I remember I was telling my mom about how it was like in praise and worship at church and I just heard this I I don't know that at the time I didn't know I'm like I heard this that like voice was saying you're gonna get married in two months and I was like uh huh praise the Lord Jesus you are amazing right um so I was just like and I told my mom, my God, that this is what I heard, like after the fact. So come to find out, oh, let me tell you, love is patient, my God. It ain't gonna take nobody's two months in these streets um, for it to happen. My God, no, no. If somebody is rushing things through, maybe you need to look a little further and look deeper into that because maybe mm -hmm. but sometimes there's a lesson out of it that God wants you to get and wants you to understand okay so I ended up getting married within two months just like that voice had told me and I just I didn't even think anything of it when it was happening until after the fact and I'm like oh my god it happened until after the fact um, and my mom's word to me was like, I don't know what voice you're hearing, but that wasn't God. But what if it was God that was saying it? Because God knew how I was. And I was like, God, I'm not meant to be nobody's girlfriend. I'm not meant to be nobody's girlfriend. I'm not meant to. And it's like, 
God all the time, all the time. I'm not meant to be somebody, I'm meant to be a wife. My God, I was trained as a child to do this. My God, this is what I'm meant to do. My God, my God. And so eventually, sometimes when we keep going to God about the same thing over and over again, his answer is fine. Fine. When it's a fine, it really is not fine. <laughs> As you walk with the Lord, you'll end up finding out. It's not fine. Um, and so he made it happen. And it happened just like that. My mom's word to me was like, that wasn't God. But what, what, but what if it was? What if God was like, I'm just going to give you, um, Bishop Foreman teaches about this. It's a reprobate mind. Um, I find this is what you want. This fine. Because I'm not going to keep going backwards. And I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you about this. Hmm. Same thing with your children. My God. Same thing with your children. So sometimes a child may be always, like my kids, let me tell you, ask me over and over again. Like, mom, can I have this? Mom, can I have this? Mom, can I have this? So eventually it's like, fine. Some people. <laughs> Some people might be eventually fine. Ah, that ain't me. My God. <laughs> I said what I said. My God. My God. As you grow with the Lord, it don't turn to fine. It's not. It's like I said what I said. My God. I said what I said. What did he say? What did he say? That is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> but be mindful in your parenting. We don't need to snap. We don't need to. When I was working with those kids in special, they're, they're special needs kids. Some of the um, people working with those kids had harsh words for them. They're very direct, but not all kids are created equal. This kid over here, you could talk very direct to, but then this kid over here, you need something soft, a soft answer to it, right? And this is where it's important to have that Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit, my God, will check me. If I'm being a little bit too aggressive, too harsh with them, oh, he lets me know right away. And it's like, you need to handle this differently. I look at the people, and it's like only, it's like a few people that my special needs child just automatically responds to. And they don't have to, and that's the thing. They don't have to be harsh. They don't have to be harsh. They don't. And here's the thing, it's that balancing act. Sometimes they're gonna be direct, but then sometimes they're allowing that Holy Spirit to guide them and that soft answer will get you the results that you need. Be mindful, be mindful. Be intentional with everything. Be intentional. My God, not everything needs to be direct. Not everything you need to like punish. Um, what I call it? Uh, just putting your hands on. No, not no. I'm gonna tell you this straight up. Special needs kids, that don't work. That don't work. My God. Even yelling at them, it don't work. You're gonna get more of the negative the more you yell at them. Sometimes mm -mm, that soft answer is what you need. Be intentional, be intentional. You don't need to be rough all the time. 
I'm glad we have this understanding. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you. It will inspire you. It will change your life. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.